We're gonna need resources. Capture that munitions point. Okay. So in Company of Heroes, your kind of objective here is, uh, well, I guess let me back up. The, the map of Company of Heroes is split into these sectors, which you'll see as you discover more of the mini-map here. And you can capture uh, these sorts of munitions points. Uh, I think they're, they're titled different things, like this one might be called a supply point. So with Company of Heroes, you want to capture kind of these miniature really they're they're flags they give you that's how you get your resources actually and the way you do this is you kind of just kind of walk over and control this section of the map there's a lot of like the position of your units is important you can give suppressing fire that's important uh, there's a lot that you can do in company of heroes to kind of get a foothold now with your base building I played a lot of the first one. I was never all that good. I just really enjoyed it. And with the first one, you could like kind of free build your buildings, but you could place them anywhere in like your beginning section. So it wasn't like free building like age, but it's a little bit more in depth than say Halo Wars. As we can hear every subscriber, James is saying, okay, now that is absolutely shudderful. As much as I love to go one-on-one -on -one against Jerry, we're going to need more units to push him off the airfield. Let's cast out some more engineers. Right, we're going to get some more engineers. All right, I believe that's right here. Is that the Royal Engineer section? We'll get that going. Can I make this a control group? I can. All right, that's cool. It's important to know, by the way, that these are the same developers as Age of Empires 4. Relic made Company of Heroes. They're uh, they're gonna. They also made uh, Age of Empires 4. All right, so here we go. We're gonna take some cover. Uh, let's see. I'll select this. I have two squads. Do I not? Yeah. Okay. I'll put the engineers here. Oh, we need it elsewhere, lads. Let's get to it. Oh my gosh. The dude in doing 25 more subs. Okay. James? You're going to be going for quite a while here. Holy moly, guacamole. Shepard Real, thank you for the follow. But we're, this, is a, this is a nightmare of good intentions, more or less. Is that a poor choice of words? <laughs> now, Gus... Okay. I'm going to text him. You got two times your raise now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The dude in doing... Okay. Oh, I, 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 we're speechless here. Absolutely brimful. Thank you so very much. Hold the middle mouse button or press the arrow key okay. to pan the camera. Yes, I think I know that. Does it want me to pan to this direction? Yeah, this is absolutely unbelievable. I'm going to have to tell, all right. put all of it in the cringe compilation. You know, I think we can make that happen. I think we can make that happen. Uh, it's kind of like one of those ma get right. the camera kind of a deal. Someone took my sandwiches here. All righty. Now we've captured this here. Build up our base. Let's take a look. Okay, nicely done. Right then, lads. We need to okay. expand our base and get ourselves a section command. Post. Analytic psyches here. Someone took to my sandwich. How's it going? Troops. Quite low, my guy. Jerry. How's it going with you? I'm pretty okay. brimmed here for multiple reasons. But nonetheless, here we are. Okay, so we need to build. Uh, let's see. Uh, right. Command post. So this is kind of what I mean. We can't build over in this middle section here. Uh, it will only allow us... Okay. I guess to kind of build back here. So I'll put that there. Digging out the section command post. And I believe is it... These men okay. are not combat men. They're just like building men. I might need to step away here for just a moment. I'm on uh, Doug duty this evening, and Sadie's asking to go out, but 
Pronto. Dare I say I want to call her bluff because she just went right before we uh, we started here. Oh, look, those men are kind of manning that cannon. Now that's brimful. Okay. Yeah, good to see 343 finally acknowledge Halo Wars. I mean, that's 100% correct. Uh, I was actually... Okay. You know what, though? Th that thing, though, was, it was weird. It was like they were telling you, like, hey, they're going to do something really cool for the 6th anniversary... Ended up just being an MP3 download of the music from the trailer, which I guess is fine. But, you know, why do you gotta hype it up and then it's that? I mean, am I grateful for the MP3? Yeah, I am, but do I wish it was like anything other than that? Yeah, I kind of do that as well. I mean, this is absolutely brimful. James has been saying K for like half an hour right now. And everyone's a subscriber. I mean, name something more cheddarful than that. I mean, that is... That's brimful. Hash Browns, is that Kadojo? Thank you for the follows. I mean, honestly, you might even be subscribers because the dude in doing is going off at 90. All right, so let's see here. We need to capture the strategic point and destroy the supply truck. That's these two things over here. I really don't know if there's an all units button in this. What I love about this is they try to be as realistic as possible. How they take cover, suppressing fire, all that sort of stuff. It's really kind of above, you know, above my small brain. I can't really handle all of this sort of uh, logistical stuff. But it is so cool to see. I mean, going all the way back to the first Company of Heroes, you would, like, watch parts of the map explode. Like, new right. trenches would be built from, like, artillery fire. It was really cool. I mean, actually, this is kind of dating Team Respawn a little bit. But, like, Team Respawn back in the day, I would say, like, I don't know, 2017, 2018 kind of time frame. I used to stream it all the time, so I never actually played the second one. I'm really glad I played the third one. Uh, the game actually releases tomorrow. Uh, if you go to the Company of Heroes website, um, you know what I should have done as well? Is there's like a referral link or whatever um, for Company of Heroes. Actually, uh, what I'm going to do is at the end of this stream... Uh, I have a couple of copies of the full game to give away the standard edition of the game. I I don't know like what that's normally retail at. I don't know if it's 40 or 60. Anyway, that's going to be happening on our Discord server. But more announcements regarding that will happen towards the end of the stream. And the, the giveaway is not actually live yet. But just to let you know, that giveaway will be happening. So if you don't own the game, you want to try to win the game... That'll definitely be happening in our Discord server. What are these men doing? Let's get behind some real cover. James is still going. That's absolutely brimful. This Company of Heroes on PC Game Pass. You know, I don't think it is. But I could be completely wrong about that, by the way. I mean, I could be absolutely incorrect. Is there something I need to do to kind of speed this up? Uh, rifle grenades? Right there? Oh my goodness gracious, James. They're all dead. <laughs> now, now we're redeeming uh, hydration points. I'm going to be... My kidneys are going to fail because, of, you know, drinking so much water here. All right, so they really don't want me building additional units. I mean, this is just so cool. I believe, yeah, I can pan the camera around to all this. I don't know why this is still going on. I mean, I've hit all of these buttons. But that's okay. The grenade was cheddarful. Right, we're going to destroy this supply truck. This isn't Age of Halo Wars. You're correct, Road Zombie. Okay. 
Retake the storage depot. Let's see where that's located. Okay, that was the easy bit. The western fuel depot is protected by armored vehicles. Regular infantry weapons ain't gonna do much against them. The good news is we can recruit abandoned team weapons like machine guns, anti-tank guns, that sort of thing. Jerry's probably got an anti-tank gun lying around here somewhere. It's fine. This isn't it. Halo it's of Empires 2. Halo of Empires Heroes 3 is actually what this is. Okay, so we can actually pick up what they're saying is you can kind of pick up uh, enemy weapons. So there's an enemy uh, anti-tank gun right there. Uh, let's go to this munitions crate. There's another one over here as well. I believe this will just give you munitions points. Now, munitions is this here, and that's exactly kind of what happened. So... A better way to kind of explain this is when your sectors connect with one another, that's how your supply line occurs. And each sector can give you different points per minute. So this fist is manpower, and it tells you what it's used for to produce your companies, your ships, your aircraft, and detachments. Uh, munitions, uh, it's a little bit more rare. I guess that's for more of your, um, it says here, artillery, aircraft, and abilities. And then the rarest one is fuel, fuel points. And then this one finally down here is your uh, is your population cap. I love kind of the way that they've laid out this UI. <laughs> Age of Halo Heroes 3, that's that's correct. So let's uh let's get this munitions crate. We'll go and get this anti-tank gun. This is an armored car. It's anti-infantry, so let's take cover over here. I guess our just regular engineers will go over. We'll kind of secure this. Maybe they can take some of the suppressing fire. Now, this is... I mean, I don't care who you are. This is just plain old cheddar. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Come on, fire. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at the car go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. I am once again asking Andrew to bring back the Minecraft series. That is probably something that I think the fellas we would really enjoy doing, like the four of us together. We are incredibly busy covering Age 2, Age 4, Halo Wars, and I'm going to sprinkle in some of this actually as well. Not to say it's not going to happen. Minecraft server with the fans too. I mean, I actually kind of really like that idea. It, uh, now, there was talks in the Discord server by some of our mods that they were going to actually set that up. I don't think it actually came to fruition, but I, I think more of a an official server, like kind of tied to the Discord maybe, would be really, really cool. I like that a lot. I'm going to slaughter this name. Is it Pancarus? New here, but I just want to say thank you for continuously coming out with new content. Love your channel, my guy. Well, thank you so very much. Actually, uh, looks like that's Pancorius now that I look at it more. If I mispronounce that, I do apologize. But I really appreciate that. I I really... I don't want to say this in a negative kind of context, but I, I, I love Halo Wars, don't get me wrong. But, you know, we've been covering it almost exclusively for, what, six years now? Uh, since the game came out? I mean, we even covered Halo Wars 1 before Halo Wars 2 came out. That's how we got started. Oh my goodness gracious, that was brimful. I mean, I'm brimmed. I don't care who you are. That's me brimmed. All, all right there. You see this on the ground? That's brim. And that's me. I'm brimmed. <laughs> okay. Now, anyway, I want to kind of move on to doing other sorts of content. You better watch your mouth, sir. Hear what that man said? So I think, you know, mixing in Age of Empires 4... You know, 2022, we are, I think we're kind of really getting in our groove with adding more content, but I really think this year is going to be pretty great with mixing in all the content on top of Halo Wars. We got the great Gustav. That's that's Gus the Bus. Look at that. Look at the top right-hand corner. Help give Gus a raise. That's 82 out of 50, Gus. That means I'll have to get in touch with James, get the payroll documents that's rolled out. And you know hey, what? You've been training for Gus this. will probably put in his two-week notice at his current job. Jerry has two. And uh, he'll become part of full-time the team Respawn conglomerate. 
Plat mines in front of our lines. I mean, the rest of you, can you... Right? Get the anti -tank I mean, really, any, everything is just absolutely cheerful. What's going on this evening? That's all I can really say. I should just about do it. Prepare for the counterattack. Okay, where are they coming from? I, I like this. So there's a... Uh, okay, position the anti... It tells me, yeah, actually. That's wonderful. I'll put the anti-tank gun here. We have uh, plant mines. I actually don't see a unit that can plant mines, correct? Uh, field defenses. Okay, mines. Can I shift click? I can't. You know, this guy really needs to watch his mouth. I mean, what is he saying? Let's man the machine gun. Let's reposition the camera. You can actually kind of go in like any angle you want. Look at that. So if you want like a full top-down experience, you can really do that. Or even zoom in for, dare I say, kind of closer to a third-person perspective. I mean, this is cool stuff. What would it take for Ed to get back on one stream? Um... Uh, I, you know, I just, I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. And uh, I can't tell you how many times I told him to watch his mouth when we stream and he just won't do it. So I think that's kind of the beginning and end of it. Tiberius is here. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay, now I'll put these men, I don't know, here-ish maybe? Oh, okay, we need to set up the machine gun. Yep, we totally will. I'm sorry, I'm moving my camera a little bit too fast there. Look at that. That's so cool. I think the level of detail in this game compared to other games is really impressive. I mean, they've always had a pretty good level of detail in these games, but I think even more so in this, they've really dialed this up. By the way, I should probably mention this, and I probably should have done this probably closer to the top, but this is coming to Xbox later this year. So, you know, if you enjoy this, this is something that you probably really want to get into, but you don't have a great graphics card or you don't have a gaming PC, but you do have Xbox. This is going to launch on Xbox. Unknown about Game Pass? Uh-oh. Hang on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's all it's all dead. Brain dead Britain. That's right, Gus. <laughs> all of these men. I'll, uh, let's see how we're doing here. We're doing fine on this defenses. By the way, Tiberius, anyone else who's interested, we are going to do a giveaway of Company of Heroes 3. Uh, I have a few copies of the Standard Edition to give away. That's going to happen in our Discord following the end of this stream. So join that Discord and get ready. There's a giveaway channel. All you got to do is react to it. The giveaway is not live yet, but it will be at the end of this stream. So stay tuned for that. Name something more cheddarful, which I've been using that term quite a lot this evening. I do apologize. Then watching the stream and then winning the game of the stream. Oh my God. Did he just, that man is dead. Look at that man. Look at him. Oh my God. Someone help him. Oh no. Oh my God. Oh no. Hang on. Fire. Come on. Oh, no, James. Don't worry, boys. The cavalry's arrived. Oh, have they? Is it like an airstrike? Oh, it's tanks. Is that the Sherman? None of these are the Sherman. Damn it. I was hoping it was the Sherman. Hop in the cord. Heard, Gus. One second. Those tanks will give us the edge we need. Let me pause this. Whoops, I'm skipping it. Damn everything. One second logistical error, ladies and gentlemen. I'll move this over here. Let's get a live interview with Gus the Bus. Let me unmute myself. Wow. Mis Mr. Gustav. Sir, how are you this evening? Good. We're interrupting this program. Bring it live on the field. Sir, <clears throat> you've just been promoted. How do you feel? Uh, it's a sensational feeling. Uh, it's not every day you get to compete at a high level here at these uh, yes studios and, and really do what you love and, and get paid like you love. Uh, right. it's, uh, it's a pleasure. 
Yep. The, the dude in doing. Great man. Road zombie. Appreciate you. Grex. Sensational people. I mean, they, their kindness is profound. And I wanted to take an opportunity to thank them. I mean, I, I, I love everything about that. I mean, did you ever think that that would happen of all days on a stream where you're not even present? <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely not. You texted me and I started laughing. Because <laughs> like, you, oh, you knew exactly what it was, right? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what is happening right now? Yeah. I mean, but, uh, I just think it's funnier that you're still playing Brain Dead Britain. I mean, Road Zombie said it best. I mean, you, you really can't escape it, right? I mean, it, it impacts all areas of your life. Yeah, yeah. You, you got a good game going on here, though. Yeah, I, I, like I got to say... the aesthetics of it. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I it's It's got cool aesthetics. I'm mowing down these men. Um, I, I... It's just a cool... It's a cool little game. And I know there's like a lot of detail on like how you position your vehicles and the counters and all that stuff, but you know, for an idiot like me, this is this is really cool. Yeah, I mean, Road Zombies even pointing out like the tank style and things like that. So I would assume there's an attention to historical accuracies and things like that as well, which obviously appeals to a rather large crowd. Yeah, I think so. I. I They've kind of always had that, like even going back to the first game, and I had talked about like, oh god, that hurt. Like even on the first game, they uh, used to do things where, like, if you were to shoot the same area over and over again, like you would see like these big uh, craters for, it, right? Hmm. I thought that was that was really cool. I'll be curious what the multiplayer looks like on this, but. Uh... Yeah, this looks like a fun game to just kind of chill out, play some campaign, play some solo, you know? Yeah. I'm sure there's a dedicated, like, online community. I mean, it certainly probably has to for it to be in its third iteration. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm trying to mow down men. I, I was enjoying watching you zoom in and out on things, though. Like, it's actually really detailed. Um which I think is kind of unique from an RTS standpoint. Yeah, I think you kind of see that in games where, like, you know, it's an RTS, but you can't really zoom in heavily to see, like, kind of detail of it. I can it's go in kind of in H4. Like, H4 is actually the physics are really, really strong in that game. As far as, oh like... Oh, my God. I'm sorry. My man <laughs> no, just got you're... sniped. You're, you're fine, what you're doing is more important. <laughs> but like in age four, from like a physics standpoint, like to actually deal damage, you have to be hit by the legitimate projectile. So like, you know, when they fire an arrow, like the little tiny arrow that they fire is actually what does the damage, not just like a, you know, a code that says this unit, just attack this unit, deal X amount of damage, right? Right. Like there is a projectile aspect. You know, I gotta, but, I gotta interrupt, I'm sorry. You can even yeah. see when these tanks are firing like, the wood and the rocks around this trench are, you know, blowing up. I mean, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, I dig it. I dig it. Yeah, I mean, it's the... Really, with age four, the ch there's like a small thing of detail I, I point out from time to time, and it's that w with the scout, you actually can't even see your... Um, the reins being held by your scout. He's just kind of holding his hands up in the air. Well, all right, then. <laughs> you playing on the polygon graphics? What's going on? Here? I don't you got know. Popo graphics I got for the popo graphics. Yeah. Let's do a... Uh, oh, my God. This is going to be absolutely brimful. Come on, boys. Fire. Oh, my God. Medic. They need a medic. Are you shooting... Why are you shooting a tank trap, uh, Road Zombies? Because I'm stupid. That's why. I mean, that's really the sole reason. There are people hiding behind it, dude. You know, it's really a matter of persistence rather than a game of, you know, outwilling your opponent, right? You know, I might be stupid, but I, I will get that tank mine. I think it's cool. I, I, I think it's a new feature where you can actually drive in reverse because there's, like, a dynamic in the game where getting attacked with your tank in the rear is, like, you know, horrible. You don't want sure, that to less, happen. Less armor plating. Exactly. 
And I think in previous games, like, if you were to tell your tanks to retreat, they would just turn around. Now there's, like, a, a full-on reverse mode, right? And, like, they can still fire, but, like, backing up. That's huge. Hmm. Okay, destroy the enemy artillery. Where the hell is that? It is right there. Okay, I can certainly do that. I can certainly do that. Would you ever consider yourself, like, a... World War II, uh, you know, interesting type of history uh, kind of person. I'm losing my ability to speak, but I think you know what I kind of mean. <laughs> yeah, I loved it a lot more when I was younger. I've kind of seized on a lot of that stuff, but mm. uh, there's definitely people that know a whole lot more than me, but I used to enjoy the history aspect of it quite a bit when I was younger, quite a bit. There well, you go. There we go. That's the tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. The tutorial in the books. You didn't roll it, Hunter. Oh, he's <laughs> a Brit. Never mind. He said Blighty. Oh, Blighty. Well, my uh, unit efficiency was 941%. So, I mean, was I stupid? That stat uh, appears to say no. I think your statistic is uh, stupid if you're at 941 <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, the metric is a little off there. <laughs> That's my IQ, 941. I mean, I'm off the charts. <laughs> I'm off the charts.